today in another installment in our property acquisition series, we are going to cover surveys. My name is Annie Mallo, and I'm a commercial real estate attorney at a top Boston firm. I've handled thousands of real estate transactions nationwide, and today we are in beautiful Rocky Neck, Massachusetts. Rocky Neck is home to one of the oldest continuously operating art colonies in the United States. The galleries here are a must-see. There are a number of different types of surveys, and every state has its own standards for the licensure of surveyors. In order to bring some uniformity to the process, the American Land Title Association, often referred to in the industry as ALTA, issued uniform survey standards in 2016. An ALTA survey will not only show the boundaries of the property that the buyer intends to purchase, but it will also show the locations of any encumbrances or burdens discovered by the title company during its land record search. This helps the buyer and the buyer's attorney to review the property and confirm that the buyer's intended use for the property will be permitted. For example, if you are looking to build a 100 unit multifamily apartment complex, but an adjacent property has an access easement through your property, the Alta survey will show the location of that access easement and allow you to determine if you can still fit an adequate number of units on the property to make the deal feasible. While obtaining an Alta survey is not required in order to purchase commercial property, in most cases, if the buyer intends to use debt financing, the lender will require an Alta survey be obtained and insured under the lender's title policy. If you have recommendations for topics you would like me to cover in future videos, add them in the comments below. I have managed deals throughout the country, so if you have questions on your own transactions, feel free to reach out to me at AnnieMalo.com. Until next time, have a nice day!